in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. That's a great tackle at the 38-yard line. Seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he's level at the 29. That was a loss of nine. Fourth down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Oklahoma State's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up them and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Third and five. Ball on the 36. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 46-yard line, Second down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. That's a First down. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. From the 44-yard line, second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a game of five on the line. That'll bring up third and six. gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Oklahoma State is looking to go up by three. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. Kickoff. He just drills this one. 
And they can forget about returning this one. The Cowboys are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle at the 33. Caught open field, and he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Gets it. He's in space, and they make the stop around the 47-yard line. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's tackled at about the 49. That's good for two yards. That'll bring up 32. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He's hit immediately. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. Just a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. Number 24 wins his but That brings up second and nine. He has some room. Brought down right around the 12 yard line. Fires quick. He catches another. They'll bring him down right around the 10 yard line. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 7-3. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled right away. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Has it to the senior. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. So at the end of one, Oklahoma State in front, 10-7.
The, the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Passes left, going the other way. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Oklahoma State is up a field goal. And it's caught. He's hit and taken down. They can't connect, incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And down he goes, around the 18-yard line. Number six makes the set at the 18-yard line. That makes it three and three. Tosses left, intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 12-yard line, Let's go, it's first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That brings up second and nine. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. He's hit before he can go anywhere. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Fights forward to about the 46. No gain. That makes it second and 10. Check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Here we go. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Five. Tackle made at the 46. No gain. Third down. This is the eighth play of this drive. He is drilled at the 38. Fourth down. Fourth and long here after the sack. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 21. Oklahoma State staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, 
I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead and he hasn't played well, you go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Oklahoma State has a three-point lead. Zips it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 31. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. completely stopped immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corner. We've got a first and 10, all on the 42-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Oklahoma State holds a field goal lead. Now he tries to buy some time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration, what he did at the end of the route, that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Here they come, and he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Hey, check right, check right, Mike Sitt, they Mike spread Sitt. the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Go, go. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Sacked again. 
But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And he's tackled at the 17. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He just throws this one away. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second half offense. The Cowboys with a three point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Cowboys recognize this game in the preseason as a great opportunity. They have a chance to put themselves on the map. You win a game like this, and it really, uh, David, it can change the perception of your program, can it? Yeah, and we see the underdog role be played so much in sports, but this is an underdog. I mean, this is a team that you look at the other guys on the other side, and you, you don't like them. I mean, you don't like them because all those guys are at a school that you probably wish you could play for. And so it's it's a huge statement. It's a huge boost of confidence to start the first half like this. They're definitely in a position that they probably, if, if you would have told them that, they would have been extremely happy. Good position, 30 minutes left. But right now, the underdog role is being played to a tee. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Oklahoma State is up by three. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 29. Number six on the tackle at the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number 87 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 29 yard line. Third down. Looks left, finding his tailback. Gain of eight yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. All day, dog. Fires it out. And he's level at the 45 yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. First down. Here we go, here we go. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down at 12. Ball on the 49. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Green nine, green nine. Today. Green nine. Let's go. 
Going deep. Almost picked off. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Here's the eighth play of the series. Oklahoma State is up a field goal. He sails it long. Doesn't get there. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. They get this one off and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled at the 32. a first down and he shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Brought down at the 32-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Bring him down right around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Go into the end zone. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And he converts the extra point. So that's a five play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to a touchdown. So the score now, 14-10. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He zips it out to the right. Got him. And he's taken down at the 40. Number 24 makes the set at the 40-yard line. First down. He's hit immediately. Short over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. That brings him second and one. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. Runs outside for a nice game. Gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Hey, 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 hold on. Here we go, here we go. Finds a man. Touchdown. Nice 
Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really bad. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Complete. It's the junior. it to the 14. He's taken down at the six yard line. That's a made around the three-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. This is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. 45 the mic. Ready. And he is drilled at the 13 yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal for the lead. Looks to the end zone, interception. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. Oklahoma State has a three-point lead. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 23 brings him down at the 25-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick pass, intercepted. There he goes. Touchdown, Houston. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He hits the PAT. Oh. 
Houston is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team. After the turnover on the last possession, it's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Right here, right here. He goes out of bounds around the 40 yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Dog Number 31, the ball kick here. That's a gain of nine on the ball. First down. Dog four! Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! Let's go. So at the end of three, the Cougars in front, 21-17. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game Mike, through three. Mike 50, Mike 50. Man out, man out, man Black out. five! Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle at the 40-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Orange three! He's scrambling. The ball is loose. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. From the 30-yard line. It's first down. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. And two. Runs oh. oh. it left for a decent game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Easy two. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, start. offense. offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still second, second down. down. From the 28-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Mike two. Blue four. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. Fires out to his wideout. Big play, and it's first and goal. Game of 19 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and now they're in front. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, this is where it can get really fun, where you see whether or not an offense has what it takes to get themselves in position, at least have a shot at a game-tying field goal, maybe getting this into overtime. Let's so every once in a while peek down at that kicker to see how he's dealing with his butterfly. Quick throw. Tracy to haul it in, and he hits him hard at the 47. That'll make it second and inches. They'll run it. Yeah. 
Caught open field, and they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And now the ball is loose. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Oklahoma State holds a field goal lead. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they hit him in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 42. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Around the 47 yard line. That's a D of five on the play. Roger, Roger. Third down. Mike Smithy, Mike Smithy. They spread the field in the gun with five okay, wide receivers. Check, check. Two. check. Three and nine. He's hit and taken down. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Throws incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Defensive coordinator anticipating his five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Quick pass. He gets hit out of bounds around the 18-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fires out, brought down at about the 17-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive, so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. The Cougars using their third and last timeout. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Touchdown, OSU! Oklahoma State staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. That brings him second and The spike will stop the clock. That'll make it third and one. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Get on the throw. He caught it. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Heading for the corner. Makes it out to about the 43. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Got a man open, bad pass. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. So the sack makes this third and very long. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. <laughs> That's a great tackle at the 25. That is the most exciting in terms of play. Fourth down. Stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Taking the field again now is the offense, and I gotta tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's gotta be livid. Uh, he's gotta get in their face, he's gotta challenge them, he's gotta get their emotions going, because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's, it's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. An offensive battle to the very end. 31-21, Cowboys. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.